guys and welcome back to my channel today it is another vlog and i just ended the previous vlog here and what i was telling there is that i'm going to the airport now i'm going to oslo due to some business things but i'm also going to go to a dior event and meet some of my friends now i have packed everything and it's my first travel with my new suitcase and hopefully this one will not break. <laughs> I'm crossing my fingers for that. I'm just going to collect all my baggage and go to the airport. So yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Malin and I do videos and vlogs about luxury fashion, handbags and shoes. And now quite recently my life in Paris. So if that's something you like, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos.
guys, so this is the last time ever I'm vlogging from this apartment and therefore I thought that I should do a proper apartment tour. So, as you probably remember, here is my kitchen. Um, yeah. Oven and dishwasher. Here is entrance and here is the bathroom. And it's quite small but it works for me uh, so here is a rain shower a sink and toilet now it's quite dirty because i'm going to check out and i'm not going to do the cleaning myself and so here is all my luggage packed and ready to go to the next apartment and here is my couch and my tables this rug i removed it when i lived here because i didn't like it here is the part that you haven't seen before and it is my view it's an amazing view so here you can see my neighborhood a little bit more french balcony <laughs> it's not that big and moving on to the bedroom so here are my closets and my bed and here are also some french windows they are from the ceiling and almost down to the floor and so you can again see my neighborhood it's very beautiful around here and i think the best thing about this neighborhood is that it is quite noisy but i really like it because i feel much more safe when it is noisy and yeah so that was my apartment and now i'm going to move out and i cannot wait to move to another bigger apartment so yeah Hello guys from Oslo, so plot twist, I'm in Oslo once again and this is because I have uh, some work to do here so therefore I am going to be in Oslo for uh, some time but hopefully I will be in Paris before November, fingers crossed for that but I have a lot of work uh, to do here in Oslo uh, so therefore I am here and this is the first time that I am um, vlogging from this apartment. So if you follow me on TikTok, you probably know that I have a place here in Oslo now. And this is because we want a base here in Oslo for when we are working and visiting Oslo. So therefore we have a place here now. And the place isn't fully done yet. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, this is not my style at all we are going to swap out this picture and there are some weird decor things here um, but all in all i am very satisfied with this apartment it is very beautiful it has this kind of old style that i like so i am in oslo and i haven't talked to you guys in a bit because i have been taking a break from social media and youtube but i have tried to post on TikTok. So I think the platform that I am the most on now it is TikTok. So if you haven't followed me, be sure to do so. Here is my TikTok handle and also I feel that I can be a little bit more free on TikTok. I feel that I can uh, post some funny things and I feel that my personality comes more out on TikTok than it normally do for example on uh, Instagram. And 
now it is Monday and I have been to Chanel today. I haven't filmed anything at Chanel, but I have tried on some new things that I really like. I actually tried on a beanie today that I also really like. I have a picture here uh, of the beanie and it comes with matching scarf and gloves. So I'm kind of considering that for winter, uh, but I don't know if I feel it is worth it because I feel that I buy things like that and I don't use it. I had one beanie before that I used probably two times and I ended up selling it because I didn't use it. So I don't know if I'm going to get it. Other than that, I haven't done that much in Oslo uh, since I arrived here. I have been checking out the stores a little bit. I have been to Hermes and I think that's the most interesting part of this video is that my boyfriend got a special order. And also if you follow me on TikTok, you probably know that I posted a video there and I also reposted it on YouTube if I have remembered correctly. And uh, so it was my boyfriend who got a special order, not me. And I'm not mad about it. It was only available for men's bags. Um, and I'm very happy that he got to make his special bag that only he has. That's pretty much it, what happened during this pause. <laughs> and also I have moved out of my Paris apartment. As you could probably see in this vlog, it felt kind of like bittersweet because I really like the area and I also like the apartment but I feel it is way too small and also the price for that apartment I couldn't justify it because it was way too much for what I was getting as so now we are hunting for a new apartment and this is going to be a series on my youtube channel where I hunt for apartments in Paris so I don't want to tell you that much about it yet but it's going to be very exciting and I'm crossing my fingers that I'm getting my dream apartment there. This coming week I don't have that much things planned other than working. Uh, as I told you I have been working non-stop since I came here. And yeah, that's it for this check-in. And now I will probably go and buy some groceries because we don't have any groceries here at home and we are also going to make dinner today so yeah and by the way i have bought very much makeup recently uh, and now i have my new dior blush on this is mahogany and as you can see it's not that dark at all and i was kind of terrified when i bought it that it was too dark or it would look weird on me but it didn't. I really like it. It's my current favorite blush now. Uh, I can also mention that I went to a Crystal Haze sample sale. I think it was last weekend. And here is a earring from Crystal Haze. This is with green diamonds. Uh, Crystal Haze jewelry are not fine jewelry, but they are custom jewelry. And they are gold plated with cubic zirconia. So it's not that expensive, but I really like the quality and I also really like the design. The girls behind Crystal Haze are just so amazing. And Crystal Haze is also a Norwegian brand. I will try to link some of my favorite products below. This is not sponsored. I just wanted to give them a shout out because I really like their jewelry and their design. I think they are brilliant. And now I'm going to go to the grocery store and buy some food. And I will probably check in with you guys tomorrow.
so today it is Tuesday and I'm going out to Dior. Um, I'm still trying to figure out where is the best lighting in this apartment. Um, but I think this space is very good. I don't know. I will have to check later um, on the clips. Uh, so I haven't done that much since I last talked to you guys um, yesterday. Uh, I have slept and I have worked. That's pretty much it. Now I'm going to Dior not to shop something, but I'm going actually to complain. And I'm not that person who complains about anything, but I feel I need to <laughs> complain about my book tote. It has just turned two years old and I would expect something that expensive to last more than two years, especially when it is not something that I have worn um, every day. And also it isn't damaged on the product. It is kind of like a default on the product, which makes it very horrible. I will explain the situation more afterwards, um, but I'm kind of nervous about going to Dior and complain about something because I feel that I have complained about Dior so many times on my channel. Um, not that many times, but I have been unlucky with two products and now it is my third product that I need to complain about. Um, but I have tried to make amends with it, but I still think it is very bad for such an expensive product. So I have come to that conclusion that I'm going to Dior and ask them what to do, uh, if they can help me with it. Hopefully they will do something about it. I have heard many people talk about it before and it is that my Dior book tote has oxidized. The glue that they used to put the bag together has oxidized and now it looks like kind of sun damaged. So the colors has turned from gray to pink and that's not good. So yeah, I will talk about it more later and now I will go to Dior. Hello guys, so today it is Monday and I was just going to finish the vlog here. I will talk to you guys more in uh, the next one about my Dior appointments and what happened there. Um, and hopefully I will get an answer this week about what's happening with my bag or bags. Today I'm going to make some dinner and we are also going to the grocery store to shop food for uh, this week and I promise to you guys that I will sit down this week and do my life update video about uh, moving and everything like that and this vlog will go live on Thursday and I think my life situation video will go live on Sunday so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet uh, be sure to do so so you don't miss it um, and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are not done watching yet, here is another video and goodbye!